I did not realize you knew how to kill so well. I don't like to brag. If you like role-playing games, you might have been looking forward to Alpha Protocol. This modern-day espionage RPG has a flexible plot that reflects the decisions you make and lets you tackle many missions with gun, stealth, hand-to-hand -hand combat, however you want. Well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is the complexity of the plot. You actually feel like you're influencing what's happening as you progress. It's all a little too robotic, but it's also pretty astounding at times. Back there. I'd like to purchase some of your somewhat suspicious looking gelato. The bad news is that nothing else is really all that good. The shooting is marred by the mediocre cover system, imbalanced weapons, and a variety of glitches and odd design choices. The stealth is marred by the lack of traditional stealth mechanics, camera troubles, and awful artificial intelligence. Alpha Protocol is the kind of game you appreciate for its incredible ambition, but it's also clumsy, glitchy, and unattractive, and it lacks personality. In other words, it's cool to see how your actions affect your progress. It's just not that much fun to play. Let's start with Alpha Protocol's best feature, the way it makes your choices have impact on the plot and the gameplay. You play Michael Thornton, an agent with a top secret US government agency called Alpha Protocol. After a not so warm introduction, the agency sends Mike to investigate a terrorist group responsible for the bombing of a passenger jet. Of course, these things are never that simple, and soon you're heading to Moscow, Rome, and Taipei to uncover the greater truth. The story doesn't have much heart or character. Occasionally, attempts at emotion fall flat. So why even put this place in the back of the gelato shop? And the plot starts to feel pretty mechanical over the 15 or 20 hours it might take you to finish your first playthrough. But the way you affect things can be pretty astounding. I thought I'd already cleared that up. Conversations with various characters let you decide how to respond. Some characters will take to you if you're suave and flirtatious. Others appreciate the direct approach. As characters grow to like or dislike you, the plot accommodates these changes and you might get various perks to go along with them. It's really complex and it works out pretty well. I heard she's on this flight. The gameplay gives you choices too. You choose a specialty and then level up your skills and select the weapons and methods you prefer. Sadly, no option is very good. In fact, you know from the very beginning that Alpha Protocol doesn't feel quite right. The camera has a tendency to stay too close to your back in smaller spaces. And that silly way you walk while crouched, well, let's just say it's good for a few laughs. You get used to these things, but when the act of just moving around in the game has problems, you start to worry. And your worries wouldn't be unfounded. Alpha Protocol is stuffed with weird quirks and bugs that really get in the way. The cover system is flaky, too sticky, doesn't always work, and glitches out in bizarre ways. The bright yellow visual effect that occurs when you activate a skill can completely obscure your dull yellow targeting reticle, or even your enemies. Broken animations, lots of texture pop in, and glitches all over. Alpha Protocol feels sloppy and unfinished in almost every respect. It upsets my digestion. But you do get all these choices, even if none of them are all that good. The shooting takes some getting used to because being a perfect shot doesn't mean actually damaging your enemy. But the action is at least okay, especially if you take along an assault rifle. Those rifles are so powerful at every range that having it is like pressing the win button. Pistols and shotguns can be okay at medium and close range, but a few firefights and boss battles are clearly designed around long-range combat. As a result, going in with shotguns and pistols can make for an uphill climb in a few spots. The game's AI is worth noting, however, but not in the way you would hope. It's just dreadful and inconsistent. Enemies do really random things, run about with no obvious purpose, climb ladders for no reason in the middle of battle, or sometimes just stare at you. Stealth isn't much better, mostly due to the same AI issues. If you go this route, be aware that you don't sneak around as you would in most stealth games. You don't hide in the shadows or take advantage of the environment to take the enemy unaware. It mostly comes down to activating skills that make you invisible or silent for a period of time. It's still cool to take down an enemy from behind, but without sensible AI or any kind of standard stealth mechanics, stealth feels clumsy and half-baked. There are a few peripheral activities. Two of the three hacking-type minigames really aren't bad. Lockpicking is cool, at least on consoles. You use one trigger to finesse the rod into the right place, and the other to lock it in. It takes some skill, but it's tense in just the right way. On the PC, using the mouse in the same minigame makes it much too easy and therefore really uninteresting. 
As for the rest of the game, no individual aspect comes together all that well. Turrets and sniper rifles are too floaty, and we even ran into a few weird bugs when using those. As for the production values, let's just say that Alpha Protocol is not a looker. The visuals are years behind modern standards, and they have almost no personality to speak of. This is about as bland and predictable as art design gets. That is one hell of a jamming device. Alpha Protocol is the kind of game you admire for all the things it tries to do. And where your impact on the gameplay is concerned, it actually succeeds. The way your conversations and choices impact how things play out is remarkable. And there's lots of flexibility in how you customize your loadout and abilities. But the poor execution weighs all of this down. Alpha Protocol is buggy. Basic mechanics don't often work right. Moving, sneaking, and shooting are all clumsy. The game messes up incredibly simple things that make you wonder how it made it onto shelves that way. If you're a big RPG fan, you might enjoy trying out all the different options and plot strands. If you like games with interesting characters that also work right and are fun to play, you're probably going to want to give Alpha Protocol a pass.